you for a good time, not a long time. Exactly. Thanks to today's sponsor, Draggy, an all-in-one portable GPS performance monitoring device. Check out our link in the description below for a unique discount and more information on Draggy's list of features. Enjoy today's video. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. And for a first, well it's probably a second time, I'm filming at the legendary SMMT Millbrook Proving Ground today, which is a mouthful. But yeah, I haven't been in a while and it's safe to say that the first car I'm in today, you guessed it, is the legendary Toyota GR Yaris, finished in scarlet flare. And I have to say, I quite like it. It's got a very nice pearlescent um, fleck to it. Now, believe it or not, I've never driven a GR Yaris before. I know, shock horror. And I have Aaron sitting next to me because he is my, I was gonna say play date, but that sounds a bit wrong. He's more so my help for today and I'll be helping <laughs> him with filming as well. I'm your carer. <laughs> yeah, my plus one, there you go. That's more of a polite. Chris, uh, you, you've got your dribble bib. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so yeah, SMMT, if you don't know, is a driving day. It's like wine tasting, but instead of wine, which would be very illegal in cars, we are driving cars. So today's gonna be like my first impressions of the car. I'm not gonna go too nerdy and geeky because we only get like 15 minutes with these cars and my brain's already melting from excitement. Um, but we're gonna just set off onto the hill route. Um, if you don't know, they filmed a scene from Casino Royale there. What I have already noticed is the driving position. Now it's quite high and that's for someone that is like four foot three. Um, yes. That's generous. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the driving, driving position's a little bit weird. I'm, I'm a bit, yeah, it seems like I'm sitting on the car as opposed to in it. Now, of course, on the aftermarket, you can get seat uh, deduction so you can bring the seat down so you can get that seating position a little bit better. But um, from the get-go initially, the performance in this thing, whoo! It's good. Now I'm gonna quote the engine code, I may get this wrong. G16E GTS, I think that's correct. And it is a 1.6 three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that produces 257 brake horsepower, which for a three cylinder is pretty cool. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's the most powerful three cylinder engine that you can get on the market. Now apparently you said about Koenigsegg may have already pitted that, but. Yeah, I think Koenigsegg have it, since it developed an engine, but I don't know if it's a production engine, yeah. so I'm not gonna say too much, cause I'm likely to be wrong. So for the time being, Toyo, you still got it in the bag. The steering's very nice. <laughs> the performance is brilliant. <laughs> and of course, like any modern car, you get the pumped in trickery inside, which to be fair, sounds actually quite tasteful. I won't complain on that because usually I do, quite critical on that. Now, considering the sound, Toyota have spent a lot of time developing this. Now, I cannot believe that I'm in this actual car because usually these days, manufacturers aren't building cars like this. And of course, Toyota have the excuse of uh, being able to produce a world rally car, one that's competitive also. And to do that, they have to homologate road cars, 25,000 in fact. And I think that just gave the Toyota engineers the excuse to absolutely create such a perfect hot hatch. Now it's funny because you can't really compare this to anything on the market because it's one of a kind. The closest car to it is a Fiesta ST and really they're leagues apart. This is leagues apart because, oh, the grip on it. <laughs> the Maserati is actually having a hard time getting out of my way because I am loving this. <laughs> now, this is mated to a six-speed manual gearbox, which is connected to Toyota's four-wheel drive system, which they call the GR4. Yeah, so normal mode gives you 70-30, uh, so it's biased more to the front. And then Sport gives you a bias of 30-70, uh, so you get more to the back. And track, you get an even distribution of 50-50. Now, usually on the road, I'd actually probably opt for race which I don't even know how to change. Oh, here we are. So, 
the car's in track at the minute so yeah 50 50 is what we want especially on this hill road whoa that's a big decline there <laughs> now I'll tell you what i'm impressed with uh three cylinder engines they don't sound great on paper because they are missing a cylinder after all but the performance in this thing it is pokey as hell <laughs> Brakes are good, very strong. Now, considering the cost of cars these days, I think actually GR, um, Toyota priced this very well considering what you're getting from it. Now, of course, you've got three versions. You've got the base, which I believe was around 30,000 pounds. And I don't know who ever spec the base, to be fair, because- No, you'd have to be mad. Yeah, you have to be mad. Um, then you've got the convenience pack, which sort of harped a bit more into the interior. So you've got a lot more gubbins inside as opposed to mechanical stuff. And then you move on to the circuit pack, which for me, I'd argue is the one to have because- It's the only one to have. Yeah, it is. Cause you get all the mechanical gubbins like forged N key wheels, larger brakes, a stiffer suspension setup, and loads more things that I just cannot remember. So I'll add them in the video below. But overall, this is a cracking car. Now, Aaron's been raging at me to drive one, and for the first time in his life, he is right! What's the oh. first time? <laughs> and you know what, mate? Cheeky so-and-so. It'd be rude not to do it again. So, we're gonna go and do it again. Yeah, boy. Wow, what a car. And it's a shame, guys, because I know I'm late to the party, and unfortunately, they're all sold out, and they're not gonna make them anymore. And I think it's stupid. Here for a good time, not a long time. Exactly. And what this car shows me furthermore is that manufacturers can still build great, fun cars. And <laughs> it is one of them. It certainly is. Now, of course, I'd love, to, whoa. I'd love to um, experience this more on a B road, but the hill will have to do here. Wow. <laughs> It's the low range grunt. It's so talky, but it also loves to be revved out. <laughs> this thing is mental. Now I can see why there's such a big presence on the aftermarket scene for these. Although they're very small in numbers in terms of how many Toyota have made in comparison to other cars like the Fiesta ST or the i20N. It's crazy to think how popular the aftermarket scene is, and I can understand why. I'll tell you what, if this is anything to go by, that GI86 in front of us is going to hopefully be a hoot to drive, especially with all the changes that I made. And hopefully later on, you'll see that on my channel as well, where I get to drive it for the first time. I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, because I've been around the Fiesta ST for so much of my driving days, it's uh, probably fitting to sort of give my opinion comparison to this. Yes, I know I mentioned earlier that these are leagues apart in terms of what they actually do. This is obviously four wheel drive, the Fiesta's front wheel drive. This has got probably about 60 more horsepower than the Fiesta. <laughs> but, it's strange to think that they're actually two different cars. Now the Fiesta, don't get me wrong, is a cracking car, but it just makes me feel that why I didn't Ford make a Fiesta RS with a four wheel drive system. They certainly missed a trick there, they really did. So Toyota had to do it for them and show them how it's done as well. Oh. I forgot how good this hill route is. little induction there I like that oh this car makes me feel like I'm 18 again <laughs> I will say the gearbox feel the shift it feels a tad sloppy 
Now, don't get me wrong, it's good, and Ford are known for this as well. They're not the greatest shift, but I'm sure an aftermarket short shifter will solve that pretty good. <laughs> get some air. Oh, I tell you, this engine's so peppy. Oh, Toyota, you've done a, a madness and a good madness. Woo. Wow, my heart's beating out my chest. I might fall on the floor and Aaron will have to pick it up. Wow. I'm not doing mouth to mouth <laughs> with friends, but there's, there's, there's boundaries, mate, there's boundaries. Oh, what a car. The hands off the steering wheel for momentarily. Well done, Toyota. And finally, I've actually got to experience it. I thought I'd never get to drive this. There was a mo part of me thinking that Toyota wouldn't bring the GI Yaris here this year because, again, they don't sell it. It really doesn't make sense them bringing it here today, to be fair. Um, they brought it here just for you, Mr. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I think Aaron dropped them a little email yeah. and Chris must drive this. Bring it. Just for him, bring it. I slid into their DM. I wouldn't be surprised if they go and pack it away after I've driven it. That's yeah. how special this car feels. You'll never see it again for the rest of the day. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. What a car. Now, it probably wasn't the most technical review ever, but it wasn't meant to be. It's just the first impressions. I can only cram in so much into a 10, 15 minute video. That's probably the best thing about SMMT is that I can do a video that isn't half an hour long because I physically can't because I want <laughs> the car back. So there's a good thing. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments below on what you think of the GI Yaris. Should I go and get rid of my Fiesta and go buy one? Like yes. I originally thought I was gonna do. Do it, do but, it. Yeah, let me, let me know what you think of the car. Um, put in some details, like some fun geeky facts of the car as well. I'm sure Joe Skulls and Snap's boyfriend is watching this video and he will put his oar into the comments as well. So make sure he does. And uh, yeah, I'll be looking very much forward to seeing it. But um, until the next time, I will see you all soon, hopefully for another video here at SMMT. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe's the most important thing. Thank you very much to everyone that is new and got me to 2,000 subscribers. Hooray! Woo! Another milestone achieved. Um, so yeah, hopefully to many more thousands. But yeah, I'm gonna go and begrudgingly give the keys back to Toyota because yeah, they're gonna get the ump otherwise because I could easily just go to the exit and just drive home in this. So we just drive to <laughs> NC500? <laughs> oh, could you imagine this at NC500 or any driving road? in the country or in the, indeed the world. Do oh, this thing could be a hoot. Do you go back to Yeah, oh, what a car. Thank you, Toyota, and I'll catch you all soon. Goodbye.